Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, another Warhammer video. I'm going to show you how I painted up Uriel Ventress, Captain of the Fourth Company. So uh, this was a fun model to paint. I really like the sculpt. Um, I painted this guy up because I'm going to start running him with the Company Hero Squad, which I did a previous video on, if you want to check that out. It's because I kind of painted them to match, uh, but all in the Fourth Company. But here is Ventress. Um, start off with, you know, McCraig Blue primer, McCraig Blue Base, uh, Drakonoff Nightshade for the wash, and then um, I did try to do a dry brush of McCraig Blue, or not McCraig Blue, a dry brush of Calgar Blue uh, to try to hit some highlights. Um, didn't really come through a whole lot. I did not want to fully edge highlight this thing at all. I was not in the mood, and I had to get them done fairly quick because I am building a list uh, for a tournament, that, so I need to get everything painted. So, um, so he was, so these guys were kind of rushed. And I was feeling the time crunch. So, but overall, he turned out pretty well. Um, I tried to follow the guides on um, um, Games Workshop. They have a, a painting guide on YouTube for free for this guy, and I think it's actually really good. Um, a lot of value, especially when it comes to the cloak. So I tried to follow the recipe for the cloak. Not my cleanest ever, but for shades and highlights, I tried. All right, I told you it was a rush job. I can always go back and clean it up. Um, but it, it was a cool idea, at least. And I, I like the way it... Uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. It's good enough, <laughs> at least for me. Uh, both the inside and the outside. All right, They recommend painting it in sub-assemblies. I would agree. I did not paint this in sub-assemblies because I can never... I always want to play with the models right as I get them. And so they get fully assembled, and then I paint them later. So um, consequently, it's harder to do a, a, a good job. But for this guy... Normal recipes, right? Uh, Abaddon Black for the blacks, Lead Belcher for the silvers, and uh, no oil for the shading on that, right? All of the parchment is Rackarth Flesh with a with a brown wash, right? Uh, Agrax Earth Shade. Uh, likewise for Agrax Earth Shade, all the pinks, so the 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 pink ribbons, or cords, and the wax for the for the purity seal there, all that gets that kind of shade. Um, all the gold is Retributor Armor with a Rackham Flesh Shade, you know, wash to give it that gold tint. Um, all the leather is Rhinox Hide, and then Edge highlighted with, uh, like, Bane Blade Brown, and then washed with Agrax. Um, his little gem there on a sword, that is just Mephiston Red, and then I put some Art Coat uh, gloss varnish on it to try to make the gem look jimmy, right, and, and, and uh, shine. You can kind of see it a little bit. Uh, his face and hair are, well, not good. Um, I went through several iterations. It's mostly like a Kislev flesh with Gilliman flesh contrast over it to try to get some depth is what I settled on. Uh, the hair was just Abaddon black, and then I took some Eschen gray um, uh, layer paint and tried to streak it in to try to give it some some texture of like a you know salt and pepper kind of hair. Uh, and I also used Eschen Gray to edge highlight the uh, the black on the on the bolt gun. But uh, but that's about it for him. Um, Cor oh, Corex White for all the white for this little rose or whatever that is flower, and then uh, the the ultimate symbol is mainly Corex White as a base, and then I um, and then I think I, I used a little bit of white scar to brighten it up just on the on the flats, so. But that is Uriel Ventress, a, a definitely a cool model. Oh, the base. The base was kind of neat. So the base is Rune Lord Brass as, a base, uh, as the base coat. And then I used um, Reichland Flesh Shade over the top of that to, to kind of warm it up. And then I used uh, all the little green dots. I used um, a mix of one of the green washes that I had to do the, the, the shading on the cape. I used as a as a green wash on the all the little rivets to try to make it look like a patina and rust. Um, I believe that was um, calibite green and some larvae medium, right, to thin it down and make it a, a like a wash consistency to dilute the color. So, and then on the power sword blade, which turned out really splotty and ugly, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, some frost heart contrast paint, kind of a very thin coat, kind of a, as a glaze to try to get kind of a soft blue glowing effect. It did not turn out well. I wish it was better, but that's okay. This is why we paint, to try to get better. So, um, 
That's been, oh, and then the, the shoulder pad trim, right? The green for the fourth company is Warpstone Glow. And that's what we used there. And I believe, oh, I used an edge highlight of, uh, oh, what's it called? I'm looking at the, my paints. Scarsnick Green. Scarsnick Green. Uh, just to uh, to edge highlight that to get to give it a little bright brightened up on the edges. So, but that is Uriel Ventress, uh, a super cool model to paint. Fun to run, uh, very fun to run because of his abilities, right? <laughs> so um, that's all I got for this one. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you like the content I'm giving you, please like, share, subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I greatly appreciate it. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.